What's up YouTube, it's Jackal Gold Kick, and I'm here with official Team Murdoch, and we're gonna be doing a video collaboration talking about our top five hood movies. So let's get started with this. I have a list right here. So my number five choice is going to be the movie Get Rich or Die Trying, which is 50 Cent's movie about 50 Cent's life. I've always liked this film. I think this is a really good hood movie and a really good rap type film. It's a good film. 50 Cent's a good rapper. It's got good music in it. It's got good actors in it. Majestic's a good villain. I like Terrence Howard in it. Curtis Jackson does a good job as an actor in the film. 50 Cent himself playing himself. And it's just a good film overall that has an interesting story and it's entertaining. And the acting is pretty good. And it's a good movie overall. And I've always liked this film growing up. It's entertaining. And I think it's just a solid movie overall. And I've always liked to get Richard Die trying. And it has some really dope music. The soundtrack for the film is probably one of the best soundtracks for a movie. It's got some really good songs like the party song with Nate Dogg. It just, it, it has a lot of good songs on the soundtrack. So yeah, my number five, my number five choice to get Richard Die trying. That's a really good movie. So my number four choice is going to be the movie Baby Boy. Baby Boy is a really good movie as well. I definitely like Baby Boy. It's essentially about like, Tyrese plays this character where he pretty much is like, it's a guy that hasn't grown up yet, that's still kind of stuck in a child complex, that he, has, he hasn't really grown up in his life. He has a girlfriend and he's a lot older, but he hasn't really grown up in his life in a way. He hasn't really became a man, even though he is a man. And Baby Boy is a pretty good movie. Tyrese is a good actor in it. Ving Rhames is great in it as Melvin. I definitely like Ving Rhames. He gives a really good performance in there. Cuba Gooden Jr.'s brother, and that movie gives a pretty good performance as well. You also have Snoop Dogg in the film as the villain Rodney. He does a pretty good job as well. I've always liked Baby Boy. It's a really good hood movie, and it's a damn classic. It has really good acting, really interesting story. It's an entertaining film, and I've always liked Baby Boy. It's an awesome fucking movie overall, and it's solid. And some interesting fun facts about the Baby Boy movie is apparently, originally that movie was going to have Tupac in it, but obviously that didn't work out because Tupac died. And then apparently Ice Cube was actually the choice for Rodney instead of Snoop Dogg. And that would have been interesting. It would have been interesting to see what Ice Cube would have done with that character. And it also would have been interesting to see what Tupac would have been like in the film. But yeah, number four choice is Baby Boy. That's a great film. So my number three choice is going to be the movie State Property. You either get down or you lay down. If you get down, you stay down, which is one of the quotes from that movie. But the movie State Property stars the rapper Beanie Siegel. It's basically like a, it has like a typical, you know, plot, gangster hood movie type plot where it's someone that comes from nothing and starts something by basically getting into the crime world to make something of themselves. That kind of story. Coming from the bottom and rising to the top. That's the kind of story it goes for. And I've always liked State Property growing up. I think it's a classic film. I really like it. I like the cast. Beanie Siegel in the film is the character Beans. He's great. He's very tough and entertaining to watch. He's a badass gangster in the film. And it's just an entertaining film overall. Has some good songs in it. Beanie Siegel does a great job in the film. I like his character. It's just an entertaining hood movie, a classic film, and just a dope movie overall. And I've always liked this movie growing up. I have nostalgia for it. It's just a very entertaining film. And I've always liked State Property. It's a really good movie. You know, the one scene I remember is when he beats up the fat guy with the baseball bat and says, get this fat motherfucker in the trash can. And I like the term, get down or lay down. If you get down, you stay down. That's a good good term that I always remember from that film. So yeah, that's my number three choice, State Property. That's a great film. So my number two choice is going to be the movie Friday. Friday is definitely a classic film. I definitely like Friday. It's a good classic hood movie, a good classic comedy film, just a classic film overall. Ice Cube did a great job in this movie. Chris Tucker did a great job in this movie. John Witherspoon, the guy who plays Debo, rest in peace to him, rest in peace John Witherspoon, and other people that died that were in this movie. Just, you have a great cast in the Friday film. It's a good comedy film. It's a classic, and I, I grew up on this one a lot as well and watched this a few times. It's a really good film. It's got great characters in there like Smokey, Ice Cube, you know, Debo, just very memorable and iconic characters like Ezel as well. Just a good story, good comedy, very entertaining, a classic film very memorable and it was just like lightning in a bottle it's a solid film overall it's a really good movie overall and it's definitely a classic and you got the end fight scene where ice cube and debo fight each other just a great film overall the concept of friday is basically like ice cube's character gets fired on his day off and he just like chills with chris tucker for most of the day and then chris tucker gets him in some shit where 
he owes this character named Big Worm some money and then some stuff happens in this day while they're hanging out while they're also having to get money together for Big Worm. So he, he's a good character as well. Phase on Love does a great job in that role. You also have Bernie Mac. So yeah, The First Friday is definitely a classic film and I like it. Great comedy film, always liked that one growing up. That's my number two choice. Friday's a great film. So my number one choice is going to be the movie Hustle and Flow. Now I would say Hustle and Flow is definitely my all time favorite hood movie and it's what I put at the top of the list. I like Hustle and Flow the most. That's a really good film. I absolutely love Hustle and Flow. Watched it growing up and I think it's a classic. It's a damn good film. It's a really good rap film as well. Good hood movie, it's just a classic film. I like the concept of Hustle and Flow where it's pretty much like someone coming from the bottom rising to the top wanting to become a successful rapper. Terrence Howard gives a great performance in that movie as a pimp type character that has women he pimps but he's also trying to basically make it out of the projects and become a successful rapper and it's just a great film. It's got a really good cast, really good actors. It's very entertaining film very interesting story. The music that is there is really good, very southern based in 3-6 Mafia type music in there and stuff. And, you know, Terrence Howard is a pretty good rapper in the film, I think. I like I like his versions of the 3-6 Mafia songs that are in there. It's got a great finale where he meets Ludacris and then he gets into it Ludacris and beats him up and then he has to leave the club. Ludacris is in there near the end and he does a good job in the movie. It's kind of funny. Terrence Howard and Ludacris like every time they work together, Ludacris always gets his ass kicked by Terrence Howard. Just a great film, and it even has some good comedy in there. Like when Anthony Anderson and uh, Terrence Howard are rapping in the kitchen, messing with the keyboard, and then his wife comes in with the other women, and Anthony Anderson is too caught up in rapping that he doesn't see them coming in. So it's just, you got some good comedy in there. Um, good cast, just an entertaining film overall. It's a classic film. Always love Hustle and Flow. I like it the most out of all hood movies because of the cast, especially because of Terrence Howard. I'm a big fan of Terrence Howard. He's a really good actor. He did a good job with the performance in that movie as a pimp type character. And you know, the movie was so like good and he did such a good job that I almost feel like he kept that character for all of his other roles. <laughs> like I feel like everything else he made after Hustle and Flow is him playing DJ from the movie Hustle and Flow, which that's his name. That's his name in the movie. I forgot to say that. He plays the character DJ. I just feel like ever since he made that movie, every character is just now a DJ from Hustle and Flow, just because of how much he got into the role. So that's my number one choice, Hustle and Flow. So that's my top five hood movies. It was hard to put the list together. I went through a few versions because there's just a lot of good hood movies. That's it for my part in this collab for top five hood movies. Now you're gonna see Official Team Murdoch's part on what his top five hood movies are. Let us know what your top five hood movies are in the comments below. That's all I gotta say in this video. Peace. All right, number five, Baby Boy, man. That movie was dope. The music video for it was dope. Tyrese Gibson, Snoop Dogg was dope in that movie. All right, number four, Blood and Blood Out. That's oh, right, I said Blood and Blood Out. I guess it's a troll film, but still a hood film as well. You know. Benjamin Brad, J Jesse Bogaro, um, Damien Chopper. They did a crabble in that movie. Alright. Number three, Juice. Tupac did phenomenal in the movie, man. And to everyone that doesn't know, Juice back then, you know, the slang term for the mean juice is the thrill of killing. And, and seriously, if you guys did not know, now you know. If you don't believe me, ask some of the OGs out in New York and ask some of the OGs out here on the West Coast. They'll tell you that slang for juice is a thrill of killing. Alright, number two. New Jack City. Man, that new movie was fucking dope, man. Mind blowing. Wesley Snipes, Ice T, you know. Bass and that movie, freaking Arch Enemies and shit. And then fucking how was this thing just, you know, got killed in, at the end of the movie? Shit. And finally, for number one, Dead Presence. That's right, Dead Presence. Lorenz Tate, Freddie Rodriguez, Chris Tucker, Keith David. Man, that movie was fucking badass, man. The film that was. That was badass, man. Especially the height, the high scene that they had. Freaking when they were like trying to take money from the damn truck. Fucking Lorenz Taylor and, and uh, Fred Rodriguez painted their face, as well as that one actress that came up forgetting her name. 
if you guys, you know, know who I'm talking about, the actress, you know, comment down below, because I'm forgetting, you know, because the movie came out about a year after I was born, you know, I'm 28, so yeah, I'm someone old fart, I don't know how white hair is in my head, but I'm 28 years old, but yeah, for the actress name, but anyways, like I said, the movie's dope, Heights, the high scene, you know, I like the, that part the most because of them painting their face, 